ma'am, you did not ask for waffle fries. You ordered garlic fries. I remember because your breath was already toxic and I thought about contacting the local authority. Excuse me? Just eat the fries. Hopefully the garlic is an upgrade. Of all the rude... Let me take care of that, ma'am. I'll get you some waffle fries and I'll throw a few extra on the house. Thank you. You should follow the example of your busboy, young lady. So now honesty is a bad thing? <laughs> Come on, Ruthie B. I should dump those fries right in her stinky mouth. Brindley, you need to play along a little while longer and get your accent back before people get suspicious. So over this. Psst, Cyrus! It's Steven. Get out of here before Dr. Saslow gets back. Steven, he knows your face. If he sees you, we're dead meat, just like those nasty burgers they serve here. Steven, you're supposed to be getting Zaslow's phone back from Holiday before he comes looking for it. <sighs> I'm literally counting the seconds until we can ditch this dump. Patcher, what's wrong? Oh, was that the wrong knock on the van door? I, I meant to do the I'm here knock. Did I do the danger knock by accident? Okay, so you didn't see anyone? No, it's just... Holiday, I don't mean to rush you, but I gotta get that phone back to Cyrus. I'm hacking as fast as I can. Badger, you're keeping an eye out for anyone suspicious, right? Not just Whittier Court. Oh yeah. I'm totally watching out for the U.S. Army, too. I mean, I I'm pretty well, sure they're still after us for stealing that helicopter. It's all clear, then? All clear, Dr. Anders. Okay, I pulled all his data off the cloud. Cloud is a beautiful thing. Cloud is so beautiful, 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 beautiful. The clouds are beautiful today. Cloud is so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Clouds? That's what you're thinking about? Just try not to cry. That's all. Cloud is. It has to be now. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't let you do this. This is what I want to start over. What will I say when you're gone? You'll figure it out. Beautiful, beautiful. Hurry, you have to do it now. You realize that when I do this, you won't remember me. You won't remember anything. Do it, Badger. Now! I'll find you. I'll make sure you're safe. Beautiful. Badger, promise me, whatever happens, you'll never let me go back to Thornton Rust again. I promise! Okay, you know I can't do this myself. So give me a push on three. Beautiful. One, two, three! Holiday? Huh? You zoned out there for a second. I, um, had a memory. Another one? Badger, you better get the phone back to Cyrus. Hurry. But if this is about what happened on the helicopter- Badger, go. Copy that. Off we go, Mr. Ward. Holiday, the memory. Was it the helicopter? Yeah, it, it was. What could have triggered it? It couldn't have been adrenaline like when you fell off the Whittier Corp Tower. You mean when Cyrus pushed me off? Yeah, it, it wasn't like that. When the falling me remember. This time, it was what Badger said about the cloud. That same thing that he said to me on the helicopter. Kinda. But there was something else. I warned him about someone, and I said that person's name. Who was it? Ever heard of Thornton Rust? Thanks again for the shirt, Rick. I'll send it back to your hotel tomorrow. Sounds good. Can't believe some mother just leaves her kid to play around in a diner. Miley seems like a good kid. Maybe a little rambunctious. I'll say. I can hear you, mister. I'm sitting right here. And I said I was sorry. Here you go, Dr. Zaslow. Your phone's all spiffed up and working like a plow horse on a cool day. See you tomorrow. Same time, same group. I appreciate it, Ruthie B. And Rick, thanks again. You're a lifesaver. Happy to help. Finally. Could I take off this disgusting apron now? Yes, Brinley. Grab Cyrus from the kitchen and meet us at the van. Let's go, Bird. We're wrapping it up here. I'm gonna miss this place. Hey, Sinus! We're out of here! R Ruthie B? What's going on? Who's Sinus? We're done. Over and out. That's a wrap. Ruthie B's leaving the building. Where's your apron, Ruthie? Don't tell me you're on another break. Yeah, a permanent one. I quit. And I'm taking my... 
brother with me. You have customers. You think I care about your gross customers who put ketchup on everything and dip fries in gravy? You're all disgusting. Why, you... Listen to me, you greasy grouch. The last month of my life has been one ginormous nightmare. I've had to sleep in vans, on freight trains, in ship cargoes, eating stale donuts from gas stations. The plain kind, with no icing, the kind nobody orders. I only have two outfits, Ernie. Two! But nothing, and I mean nothing, has been as miserable as putting up with you and this filthy so-called diner the last two weeks. I've heard enough. Maybe you have, but your customers haven't. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you this sooner, people, but I literally saw rat poop in the hash brown. Wait, what? Caught a roach crawling out of the lettuce bin yesterday. Hand to God. And I'm pretty sure that green stuff clinging to the sides of the deep fryer ain't parsley. This is gross. Why have I put up with such atrocities, you might ask? Short answer. I want to go home. And maybe now I can. Regardless, I'm through taking orders from you, Ernie. And your snotty, rotten breath customers. And their lame tips. And my phony, yet admittedly brilliant southern accent. Say goodbye to Ruthie B. An ode to my hero, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. My real name is Bruno Uh, that's enough. Very inspirational. Uh, time to go. Uh, Ernie, um, about our final paychecks. Get out! Right. Thornton Rust. Are you sure that's the name you remembered? Yeah. Do you know him? Was he another scientist at Whittier Corp? I don't think so. I mean, it's been years, maybe? But that's not like Bob or Jack. You'd think I'd remember a name like Thornton. Maybe Badger will remember. And there he is. Forgetting the secret knock again. Badger, I told you it's two knocks and- <gasps> Hello there, ladies. Dr. Zaslow! I'm so sorry, Holiday. He snuck up on me. Hello, Monica. It's been a long time. Not long enough. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't call Angelica Graves and offer to deliver Holiday Anders on a silver platter. 